Hey everyone, in this short video I'm going to show you how the new Google Forms, the one in purple, <laughs> looks. So if you are familiar with the old version of Google Forms, or perhaps you've never created a Google Form, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. First thing you need to do is you need to log into your Google account and go to Google Drive, which would look like this. Once you're there on the left hand side, you want to go ahead and click that new button. Come down here to the more and find Google Forms, the new purple icon. And go ahead and click that and it's going to open a new window that you see here. Now if you are familiar with the old version of Google Forms, this looks a lot different. And if you prefer the old Google Forms, I want to point out right down here in the lower left hand corner, this little running man guy. And if you hover over, it says back to the old Google Forms. And if you click that, it'll actually take you to the older version of Google Forms. And sometimes it's even asking here, why did you do that? So if you want to leave some feedback, you can do that there. So you can see, here's what the old version of Google Forms looked like. But for this video, we're going to go back to the new forms. And real quickly, just kind of going through what everything is in, uh, in the window that you see here. The nice thing about the new version of Google Forms is if you hover over all of the icons, it tells you what it is. So this little puzzle piece is add-ons, color palette, preview, settings. Right down here you've got adding a question. If you want to add a title and a description, you can add an image, you can add a video or make a new section. So we'll do some what each of those are in just a little bit. But the first thing we want to do, I'm going to go back up here to the corner and give this a title. I'm going to say sample form. Hit enter and actually just click somewhere else. And you can see that it automatically puts this as the title in my header. And under the form description, I'm just going to put something. This is a sample form. You can put whatever you'd like in here. And the difference between the new Google Forms and the old Google Forms is a form is attached to a spreadsheet. And the new Google Forms still attach to a spreadsheet, but you also have the option of seeing some of the responses directly in the form, which I'll show you in the next video how to do that. For now, let's just kind of concentrate on how to make a Google Form. So I've got my title. I've got my help text or my description. So let's make a question. So untitled question, I'm going to click there. And let's say my first question, I want to put, what is your name? And over here in the right hand side, if I click this drop down, it shows you all of the different kinds of questions that you can put or inputs that you can put in your form. Now if I'm asking for someone's name, I'm going to make that a short answer where they could just type right in here. And if I wanted to put a little help text, this, these three bars right here, if I click this, the hint text, I might put something like first and last to remind them that, hey, I wanted both of those. And when I'm done, I can just click anywhere. Oh, I'm going to make this a required question. You don't have to, but I'm going to make that a required question. And now I'm done with this question. If I go up here, and click the preview button. You can see that this is what it would look like. So I'm going to go back and I want to add another question. So I'm going to click the plus, add a question. So you can see that it puts that question here. So let's say for example, what is your favorite kind of food? Because I'm hungry. So let's just say, for example, oh, and I am going to keep this as, again, I have different choices, but I want this to be multiple choice. So let's say, we'll say Italian, uh, Mexican food, hmm, let's see, Chinese, American, let's scroll down a little bit so you can see, Indian, and I'm just going to say, I'm going to click that other. Okay. And I'm going to also make this a required question. And pretty much I'm done. If I wanted to shift any of these around, see by hovering over each of the multiple choice possibilities, I could actually reorder these. See something like that. So whatever order you want, you can put those in. So once again, I then going to go up to the top 
and I'm going to click the preview and there is my sample form. And in the next video I'm going to show you how to view the responses from that form.